hi in this video i will discuss about touch ui multi field how to create multi field and how you can handle multi field in sling model in different cases uh, so i will cover different scenarios uh, about multi field in this video so probably this video might be long so i will divide it whole uh, tutorial in two videos so what i'm going to cover here how to create a multi field with a single item when you have a single item means a single text field in multi field uh, what is the purpose of property called composite this is pretty important i will discuss this property in detail with example and how to handle that multi field in sling model so probably after these three points you will understand how to create a uh, multi field and how to handle that in uh, sling model so then uh, how to create multi field with multiple items so you when you have more than one field in multi field like you have three text fields in multi field or more than one and different kind of items or the fields in multi field how to handle that in a sling model using map and how to handle that multi field with more than one field using java class probably with bean and i will discussing like in which case you should use map or which case you should use bean and then finally i will discuss how to create a nested multi field when you have a multi field within a multi field and probably how to handle that nested multi field scenario in sling model so here the multi field you need to understand concept if you understood concept you can handle any kind of multi field right so in this this video and next video i will be covering these four scenarios okay to understand multi field you need to understand how the multi field will be created inside a dialog in touch ui and what will be the node structure created once you drag and drop that component and after editing that multi field on a particular page means uh, repository so for this tutorial i will be creating a component author hyphen books and throughout this tutorial i will be using this component so let's let's i create a component with multi field called name book so how will you create multi field so you need to understand that there will be more than uh, these fields uh, there will be a uh, more than uh, fields under this hierarchy so i'm discussing only about the multi field right so let's so suppose i want to create a multi field so what i'll do i create a node and i give a resource type as a multi field so it will create a multi field but how will you define the fields for that suppose uh, consider here i'm i'm giving the example of when you have a single field right so create a uh, node called field under that book and give a uh, resource type as a text field suppose you want to create a text field here you want to create date field uh, checkbox accordingly you can give a resource type and you have to give a name property uh, for that multi field here inside fields so as i mentioned there is a composite property so what is the significance of this property and where will i will be using that property so you have to add this property at your multi field node so this my book node was a multi field so i added that composite property by default this property value is false even if you don't add that the system will take false as a value but suppose add this property and so there is two case false and true so what will happen when you add false and what will be happen if you add true so suppose i created a dialog uh, and component with this multi field and i use that component on a page as soon as i drag and drop that component on a page it will create a node same as my component name right so take example you i added as a false and in that uh, uh, component i authored that component with a two value ball book name right book i added two values so what will happen so i authored with two value so it will create a string property string array type property under this node only right and it will save those both values in a array 
means comma separated in case of false but suppose you add it true so what will be the difference so same I add a composite as a true and I drag and drop the component on page so in that case now and I uh, edit that multi field with two iterations means I added two values to that uh, dialog uh, the text field so it will create a node under my component node with uh, for that multi field but this name what will be the name of this node you need to understand this so whatever the name property you gave in your field it will create a node with the same name here understood and you iterate it twice you add it twice so what it will do it will create two nodes now under this multi field node each item have a value of single iterations means you add it two iterations dot multi field so each iteration of value will be saved in one node so now it will save the first value inside this node now the property will be of string type instead of string array right and second property will be stored in second item so you see a clear difference here in the first case in false I will not create any additional node it will save the property as a string array inside the same component node but in case of true it will create a first it will create a node same as the name property and it will create a, a nodes under that so suppose you added three iterations you added am sfc and something else so it will create three nodes here so you need to understand this structure and if you understood this structure you can handle that pretty easily in sling model so probably now you should have a question where should you use false and where should you use true so take a thumb rule if you have a single field in your multi field you can use false and if you have more than one field or even with the single field you can have true you can have true in any case so with true you can write a generic method so hope you understood this concept now now let's jump to demo so for the this demo also I will be creating this component as I told you and you know how we handle the good practice we will add a uh, interface then the implementation class okay so let's jump into demo okay so I created a component with a uh, multi field so as you see here so first I created a single field with the author name and then multi field let me zoom it here items books books is my let me show you is a multi field resource type and field is unstructured name uh, my books I give a name and then text field so let's let's write uh, Java for this uh, so I created a interface for this with two methods get author name it will give me author name and the books it will return the book name in form of list the implementation class same way as I have already explained you how to write sling model in previous three video if you are not aware please go back and see those videos so here uh, I'm first of all I'm injecting a component resource mean the uh, my component and then I'm taking the author name using at the rate value map by default property I'm giving AEM you are aware how to write that I explained completely in my sling model uh, tutorial and I take that whole uh, array in form of list string type of list in this method I'm returning author name in this what am I doing I'm returning the array list complete error list I'm not doing any modification simply as I got it I'm returning here if you see if you see here I'm not holding that list for any uh, uh, execution or processing I'm simply creating this res list and returning it okay so it's a pretty straightforward code and in sightly I'm simply uh, okay let, let's check here I'm simply creating a object and from that first I'm taking the author name and then I'm iterating this uh, list 
one by one this I'm iterating one by one if you want to get the whole list in a one go suppose you have a requirement you want that whole list in a comma separated value so you can simply use join statement here so let's uh, see ex uh, let's edit that component and see So I drag and drop that component by default the AEM value is coming AEM because I give as default value. Let's author that component. Book name is let's author name is Arun and let's add a book. Let's AEM book. Let's say SFCC and let's add one more. Let's net right okay let's save it see the values are visible the first thing is coming let let me give to the preview mode so that you can better understand it's it's iterating book number one two three first name is am or net and the second statement it is showing the whole all three books in a one go this is pretty straightforward this is my site link so I'll give the whole code in repository. You can go and uh, you can get this code from Git repo. So now, now let's understand the scenario when we have more than one field. Okay, when we suppose I have more than like book name, book book subject and year in a multi field. How do we create that and how do we handle that in Java? Okay, so let's see. So in this, I will uh, create a multi field with three uh, fields one for the book name one for the book subject and the publishing year so let's see how we can create that dialog so the same i created the same component and i created a multi field with name book detail with map i want to create this as a multi field so as i explained earlier i give the resource type as a multi field and again the field uh, created a field but in previous video uh, I had only one field so I gave here resource type as a text field but now I want more than one field so how do we handle that so rather than giving here as the field I um, mean type like text field or uh, some other field name so I need a some 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 container to hold those uh, fields so rather than giving that add here is a container because that container will be keeping my all three means three no three fields and then create an item you will find this not everywhere in dialogues and then create three fields one is the book name book subject and publish here each will have type resource type for simplicity i am adding the text field you can add anything like date picker select or it's up to you but you need to consider here each field have their own name value so here one name value is for multi field and then each field have its own name value so suppose you created this uh, dialog and you drag and drop that uh, dialog uh, sorry component on a page so as i told you i am keeping uh, i have more than one field so i am keeping composite is equal to true so as i drag and drop this component on a page it will create a node as i explained earlier and it will create suppose I added two iterations means uh, for two like book one book two so it will create a node under that uh, component name node for the multi field and what will be the name of this field as I explained earlier whatever the name value you gave for the multi field right and suppose I added two iterations so each iteration each node will have the single iteration value suppose I added the Two book details one for the book one subject one and publish here so this node will hold all these three values for the first iteration and the another node will have the values for the second iteration right so what happened if I use composite is equal to false so that I'll show you on practical so you can better understand so but take a thumb rule if you have more than one field use composite true or you can use composite true everywhere Right? whether it's a single field or multi field or more single field or more than one field okay so let's jump into example let me create this dialog okay so I created a multi field with three values uh, name is book details with map let me zoom it 
and the field uh, this will be a multi field let me show you multi field field name is container and I'm holding these three so I have three fields for book name it's a text field book subject and publishing here so let's see the dialog if you can check here now my dialog has one more multi field with three values so let me save values two iterations so I did two iteration for two books book one and book two let me save it so I did not write any backend implementation for this so that's why nothing is happening so let let me write the Java in the slightly to handle this dialogue okay so I created a, another function um, which return a list containing map of a string a string type and what this function is doing basically uh, this is getting a resource as I already explained uh, this 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 inject resource component will inject the current resource from that current resource I'm getting this uh, child so what is this this is the uh, node I will be created on page under that component this is a multi field node basically this is book details with map so let's let's check the repository so you can better understand this so when I drag and drop let me zoom it so it will create this node and when you added that so so this node will be getting created so basically what I'm saying okay from this resource give me this child and as I told you it will create this and because I added two iteration it will create two nodes right both each node will having the property book name subject and publish here so what I'm saying get this node okay then I got this node now I got this node multi field node now uh, what I'm doing I'm iterating each node now one by one how many nodes are there I'm iterating like okay I got the get uh, children and each for each iteration of node I'm creating one map okay I created one map so I from the each node I'm getting all these three values book name book subject and year you this is play simple uh, resource APIs and then I'm adding that node inside my list right so then I'm returning that list okay so from this method a list will be returning which contain a map I mean three uh, two maps one map for each uh, node e each iteration of multi field node okay so let's see how I write then uh, Sightly inside Sightly what I'm getting I got this node and as I told you earlier I, I got this uh, list from this method right uh, as I already explained whatever the method you have remove get uh, make first character small and you you got it okay so once you got that I got the item and then I'm iterating each item from that each item I'm getting a book name book subject and publish here so hope you understand this logic let me zoom it right I got uh, from that I got list in item and then I'm iterating this list so let's let's go to the page and check okay let me refresh this so see they're using map the earlier this one is for previous one now I'm adding two two items book one book one has a book one subject one and these values right so in that way you can use uh, you can use map so now is as I earlier explained so there is one more way I explain like uh, you can use Java bean so when you should use Java bean rather than I mean what was the problem coming with this map why why we need a separate Java bean class to handle that okay so that scenario and nested uh, nested multi field scenario I will cover in a next video so let's see if you have any question please do comment.